Hello, Charles here. And in this video, I want to uh, do another response to a question that I received recently and that I've received uh, many times uh, throughout the years. So I figured the easiest way to address it um, and to make it uh, shareable to help others with the same question, uh, it, would, it would just work out a lot better with the video. So uh, here we go. Question of the day is... As far as binders, what do you recommend? So, my answer to that is there are multiple options, okay? And a lot of this is going to depend on, one, your body type, what you got going on, how large your breasts are, okay? And also, just your own structure, okay? So, if you're... Um, real thin and you have real large breasts or not real thin and you have tiny ones okay um, or you're larger and you know same thing back and forth it is really really going to depend on your body okay that's probably the biggest thing okay as far as um, another factor would be your budget okay budget's huge but do not let budget control what you get, okay? Um, I realize that it can get very expensive, and I realize that this is a huge thing, but you do not want to hurt yourself in the process, okay? Many times, uh, you people will get, uh, especially if you have larger breasts, you're going to get a binder that's extremely tight, and maybe it's ill-fitting to your structure overall, and that can affect so many things, okay? If you're too tight in the ribs and you can't get sufficient air, if you are cranking them suckers down and you're, you're so tight um, that you are actually changing your, your structure where your ribs meet your spine, you can end up with issues in the future, okay? You don't want to have that. So, please, please do your research. Please choose a binder that fits your structure, okay? I highly, highly recommend saving your money and getting something that is a little bit more, right? sometimes it can be quite a bit more, okay? But that doesn't actually hurt your structure, okay? So keep that in mind, that's huge. Okay, so one thing that you can personally do off the bat is chest exercises, okay? especially if you are already on testosterone, that is going to help um, by, do, by doing chest exercises that is going to help to um, build your, your muscle. It's going to, it's not necessarily going to change the shape. Okay. All right. But that is what I did. Prior to my top surgery, I worked my chest constantly. I did push-ups day in, day out. I did... Um, the bench press, bench press constantly. Uh, if you don't have access to bench press, you can use some hand weights, um, you know, dumbbells, do a lot of dumbbell exercises. That's going to, you know, help you out a lot. Uh, the stronger you make that, the more muscle you build, the more that's going to help. Okay. On top of that, cardio. So if you have large breasts, if you are doing an excessive amount of cardio along with a lot of chest exercises that is going to be to your benefit okay if you are on testosterone doing one or both of those things combined is going to be um, it is going to help you a lot as well okay and that is going to help to develop your chest um, into the shape that you want especially prior to top surgery okay so those are all things that you can do and I feel like they're all quite equally important, okay? Other than what I said at the beginning, when it comes to a binder, get something that fits you right, okay? Pay the extra money, get something that, that fits you right. Um, as far as me personally, <clears throat> I had uh, C cups, okay? So I wasn't extremely large, I wasn't extremely small. I was kind of right in the middle there, okay? So... I would take 
and I, I don't necessarily recommend this, okay, but I would take the KT sports tape. It's that black tape. Uh, maybe there's more colors today. I have no idea. That is what I personally, you know, that's what there was, you know, prior to my top surgery. So I took that black KT tape and I would put it, I would put multiple pieces over my nipples and I would pull back pretty darn tight, as tight as I could um, without, um, uh, gosh, the words are not coming to me. I would take pieces, pull as tight as I could off to the side, okay, of each one. Um, and then many times I would take like an ACE bandage um, or whatever was really available at that time. A lot of new things have come out since then. I'm not going to say binders were non-existent, but good ones were extremely hard to find. And as far as the trans community, um, you know, if they, there wasn't a lot of options, okay? And five years prior to that, ten years prior to that, there were none, okay? So, not even KT tape, not, you know, there were usually, there were ace bandages, but um, you got to be careful when it comes to an ace bandage. Same thing that I just said about a binder being too tight in certain areas, okay? You don't want it to hurt your structure. So, uh, definitely, uh, if you do go that route, you know, stick with that KT tape first, then put an ace bandage over. Uh, if it's still not flat enough, okay, depending on your chest size, again, that's going to be a huge factor. You're, and your, your whole body type is going to play a huge factor into this, okay? Um, you can take a, you know, kind of heavy-duty, strong uh, uh, sports bra on top of that over both of the other, okay? So that's an option. It's not necessarily what I recommend. It's just what I personally had access to, okay, prior to my top surgery. So I did do some research research for you, and what I found as far as um, one of the top rated places to go is f2mbinders.com, okay? It says Binders of Underworks is what the logo shows. And uh, I heard multiple things. I went to a few different forums, um, found quite a few different options there. Okay, so you can you can go into each one. You can see uh, body type that it kind of fits, and um, maybe that will help you out. Okay, my next recommendation after that is Amazon. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there are a lot of options. You can literally just search FTM binder, okay? There are different um, tape options on there. I don't know if they're gonna be much different than the KT tape. Uh, with one thing, with the KT tape, be careful if you have really sensitive nipples um, or any kind of adhesive issues. I'd recommend putting something um, under that KT tape, at least over the nipple area, okay? That's usually a little more sensitive. Um, skin and uh, it just might be a good thing for you to do, okay? I do not have sensitive skin. It was not an issue for me personally. There was some sensitivity when I first started using it, but after that, it really wasn't a thing for me, okay? So, uh, I am going to include in this video a link that is uh, to Amazon and a link that goes to the F2M binders. And a lot of those too, like if you choose, I'm on the site right now, you can choose your sizing. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm gonna take part right there and I'm gonna go to my comment here. All right, so they are, they offer shipping to multiple uh, states and countries, okay? I just wanted to check that because um, I do know some of you are not in the U.S. that follow this or follow my videos. So it looks like they're all set. They have, you can call their support, you can write them. They seem like a pretty good company to go with. Um, 
that I have not personally ordered from them. Okay, so I hope that that helps to answer your question. And if you have any more, shoot them over. Okay, and we will talk soon. You guys have a good one and much love to you.